uh, rewards will you be able to provide your family and yourself? It's all based on these moments, these weeks, and these months ahead. Momentum is here. I hope you're setting it for yourself. By the end of September, you are hearing it on this call right now. Every one of you, 200 Ks all the way down. No matter who you are, will you have 100 personal free accounts attached to your name uh, over the next 30-day period of by the time September ends, okay? With that being said, thank you all very much. This is Paul Gravett, co-CEO, Jason Camper, co-CEOs, co-founders. This company was built by promoters for promoters. This business was built off of the content that is on your website. I was watching the video today, a reflection of interview that Jason and I did uh, uh, not too long ago, and it just made me come back to the realization of you all. We have so far to go in this business. We're around 8 million plus customers. How many people do you have within the state you live in? Let's say you have 8 million in the state. We have the rest of the United States to go get, so we've got a long way to go. Understand where you are with momentum. I want to make sure tonight that everyone on this call is aware of the new uh, project that we have running at Lavelle on the fan page. All of the locals that are going up, we're giving them an opportunity within the first 72 hours of the locals being posted. If they break over 200 going, we're getting in touch with them and giving them date options of upcoming locals that we will visit. Uh, the biggest record so far in speed was Wisconsin this week. Milwaukee went up, and within three hours, they had over 200 quotes are going on their post on the Lavelle fan page. So all of you that are posting your locals that have a 200K in attendance, if it breaks over 200K going within the first 72 hours, please get in touch with me or another 200K, and we will look at date options uh, to come visit you in the very, very near future in a city uh, near you or wherever the local may be. Uh, the next thing that I want to cover to you all real quick is, as I mentioned to you, the uh, VIP 800 project, the uh, underground project. Every one of you that knows someone that has hit VIP 800 in the last couple of weeks, and most importantly, the four months end right now, we've got many, many days to go. You all are going to explode a lot of VIP 800. Make sure that you all spread the word. Something's going on behind the scenes for those that are hitting VIP 800 to 1600, and uh, we will be in touch with those people that are achieving that. This is the number one promotion in our business. Make sure that you are adding fuel to the fire you are an independent promoter in this business, and that is the number one promotion that you all should be focusing on with anyone you bring into this business that says, I want to be more than a thriver. I want to help others with the life they deserve with this product. I want to be a free promoter. Make sure you all are focusing on adding fuel to the fire uh, with our VIP 800 promote promotion that runs. All right, let's get into it. We've got a lot of details. I'm going to come back uh, at the end of this call and wrap up and talk to you all about a big surprise with an upcoming announcement that we have. In the meantime, we're going to get, a, get into a lot of exciting details and many more announcements to come as we end 2018. More calls coming your way with myself and Jason. Jason, let's get into these topics for this evening. Yeah, absolutely. Excited to be on tonight's call and uh, welcome everyone. I know everyone sitting back, zoned in, dialed in. As Paul talked about, we have lots of uh, parents that got their kids back in school and there's definitely a sense and focus um, of attention going on company-wide, and there's certainly a lot of attention and a lot of focus corporately as we just have an incredible uh, calendar lined up for the next 12 months, and I'm going to talk about that tonight. I'm going to talk a little bit about the future and where we're going. Before we get into some of these key topics, uh, updates on Thrive Against Hunger, the Canada launch, Thrive Fit, Thrive Bites, a new one for you called Thrive Blast, and so much more that we're going to discuss on tonight's call. I want to talk about getting back into personal momentum. You know, I think that's um, the most important thing you can do right now. You know, I don't care if you're making a zillion dollars a week with us or you're making nothing. Um, you always have to be in the zone of personal growth, right? I mean, it's, it's kind of like my duties, my duties and your duties are kind of the same. They're different types of duties, but we're always in a zone of productivity, right? I mean, I'm always in a zone of where are we going to take this product line? What are we doing next? What are the next innovations? What are the next technologies? Every morning I get up, it's a what's next philosophy. It's never a we're there or that's enough or I just get up and go eat lunch and hang out for the day and call people and what's going on. 
it's always a focus of putting the next step forward for the company, right? And your priorities are very similar to that. It's very simplified, though, for you because it's a who-do-you-know business. You know, when I got in this industry uh, over 18 years ago now, I was, I was at Texas Tech University. I was playing soccer there. And long story short, I met this individual that was making, you know, $300,000, $350,000 a month. Some of you know this story. He was a retired high school football coach that had climbed himself out of Chapter 13 bankruptcy. His life was financially a mess. He wasn't really an educated person. He was extremely smart, very common sense level, but there was nothing necessarily about his education that told you he was going to go off and be successful. And I met this man, and I, you know, saw this incredible lifestyle. Here I was going to school trying to figure out how to make my way in life, and I met this individual, and that's how I got introduced to direct sales. But as he was getting me going in the business, the thing that he always said to me over and over and over and over again, and I knew not to call him unless I could answer the question that he always asked me. And that question was very simple. Jason, who are we going to talk to today? My job is to help you become successful. You said you were interested in achieving the lifestyle I have. Is that not correct? Yes, that's correct. I did say that I want that. Okay, my job is to show you how to do it. Your job is to introduce me to people. And so it's, it's the same thing with us, right? It doesn't matter if you're making a zillion dollars a week with us or you're making nothing. If you're five years into the business, one day into the business, the same thing is the same thing every day. Just like when I wake up, I say, what's next for the company? What's next for the product line? Where are we going? What are we doing? What's the next innovation? Your question that you ask yourself every day, that you ask your team every day, who are we talking to today about the Thrive experience? And here's the most beautiful thing about what we're doing. It's never changed, and it's never stopped working. One of the most productive things you could do tonight is go to the 200K documentaries if you have not watched all of them and watch a couple of them. Watch, you know, all of them if you want to. But the thing that you're going to notice is, yes, they're different. Yes, they're different people. But there's one similarity that stands out. There's probably a couple different similarities, but the one that I'm talking about Every single person will discuss on that video how their sponsor kept calling them to talk to them about the product, right? Who are we talking to today? Like I was, you know, editing Dana Chubas a couple weeks ago, and she was the same thing. I started smiling when I got to that part of the video. She was discussing how her sponsor had been approaching her about the product. She got the product. She pretty much assumed it wasn't going to work, right, because we all kind of are skeptical, and she walks through that. And the beautiful thing is there is an unlimited amount of people out there that wake up every day looking to feel better, looking to look better, looking to lose weight, looking to have more energy, looking to break the coffee habit, looking to have more energy with their kids when they get home from school, looking for not so many more naps, looking for better this, looking for better that. Everyone is looking to thrive, and that is what we have. That's the easy part, okay? The, the part that takes a little work is not that much work at all. Who are we talking to today, right? So you're in a personal zone every day of getting up and saying, who am I talking to today? And then your people, your front line, your first four levels, those people that you talk to a lot, you talk to often, it's also, guys, who are we talking to together today, right? It's just a constant churn of exposing people to this product line, using social media to get the word out, to soften it, to, to get exposure. But at some form, at some level, we have got to start to discussing with people, whether that's through instant messages, text messages, and better yet, finally ending up on the phone. And that is how you start a churn 
of new customers coming on board, new promoters coming on board, which then means what Paul was talking about earlier, new 4Ks, new VIP 800, 1600. It starts that beautiful churn. The number one thing to not do in this business is just simply make the rounds of calling people in your team. Hey, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah, it's all that new product they're coming out with in a few weeks. That's interesting, yada, yada, yada. That does absolutely nothing, right? And what you also have to be very careful for, and I know I've gotten off on a training tangent here. I'm about to go into the updates. But you also have to be very careful that you're not turning into um, micromanager, right? Your job is not to manage your organization. Your job is not to impress or wow your organization, right? Your job is to work with those people that are ready to go, ready to work. Those people that aren't ready to work and nothing ever impresses them, no matter what the company does, no matter what you do, no matter what product comes out, no matter what promotion comes out, it's just never enough for these people. It's never, ever going to be enough for these people. You've got to not waste your time with those people. Let them order the product. We'll love on them. We'll wave at them. We'll say hello. How are you doing? Have a great day. Thank you so much. We'll be kind to those people. But if your goal here is to go build a business that's going to pay you residual royalty income for the rest of your life, your time is ticking, the hours are ticking, and the people that you waste those hours and time with is critically crucial. So you've got to get focused. You've got to get out of management mode. And most importantly, You've got to wake up every day just like I do and say, what's next? Who am I talking to today? What am I doing today? Where am I going this month? Where is my team going? Break your own records. What goals have you set down uh, in the last 30 days, in the last six months? What goals are you working on? What piece of paper that has a simple bullet point list of goals and things that you want to achieve are you working off of? Set new goals, get focused, and get going. All right, so now we're going to get into the um, topics that we're planned to discuss tonight. Thrive Against Hunger has been a huge, huge success. Uh, it's very interesting um, dynamic when you look at we're, we're selling a product that's been getting donated, and, and it's just a very interesting concept. And, and I just looked right before we got on this call, and we're right at 100,000 meals served and donated, so incredible round of applause for everybody. On the website, the Thrive Against Hunger webpage, down at the bottom, there's three tabs. It's like the challenge, the solution, the results, or something like that. You can expand that, and it keeps a live tab of the, the meal served in the company, right? So it's a company-wide calculation. Um, we have actually just completed, I got, when I got news from them today, we have actually just completed our section of the next shipment on the tanker that's going to be heading out. We had a particular size to fill, and we can't load it on that boat until it's met that minimum, and we just met that minimum. And so our, our first round of deliveries, donations, of meals going to people that are in critical need. It's going to happen within about the next week to 10 days. And the places that it's going to get distributed to is Korea, Haiti, Honduras, and Cambodia. And we've got boots on the ground in, the, in these critical uh, parts of Korea, Haiti, Honduras, and Cambodia with Rise Against Hunger, our boots on the ground solution that distributes to this. So in the next, call it two weeks, once they've had a little bit of time to circulate it and distribute it in these markets in the next two weeks, our marketing team is tasked with providing that information to, to those that have donated. So what we want to do when people donate to Thrive Against Hunger is we want to be very responsive and a lot of clarity on what these meals are actually doing, where they're going, how it all works. We want to be very visible in in the post donation, right? So after you donate, we want to be very visible to you on what is going on, the inner workings, but it does take time to get the get the meal over there, get it circulating, get that back over here, uh, et cetera. So 
congratulations on a job well done, and um, that's the update on Thrive Against Hunger, 100,000 mil third, and we just completed uh, our section of the tanker, and we're getting ready to head it out very soon. Canada launch, uh, for those of you that uh, don't have any customers in Canada or don't have any promoters in Canada, this part might not mean a lot to you, but nonetheless, one day you may have a customer there, a promoter there, and uh, you may want to listen to be in the know in the event that that does happen. Uh, we do have a lot of Canadian customers on this call tonight, Canadian promoters, and uh, very exciting to let everybody know that we have just completed our beta launch phase where we had, um, I don't know the total number amount, I think it was somewhere around 60 to 80 um, people that were invited into the beta uh, Canada launch. They got to preview the website, they got to order product, they got to act like the company was live in Canada before it really was, and that process uh, is still in play, but it concludes tonight. And I believe the last word I got from the ops team is that we are going live in Canada sometime tomorrow. So I believe we are going live. Nonetheless, it will be this week, this month, um, just like we said it was. We said we were going to go live in August, and, and, and we have completed the phase. What I want to talk about real quickly is the differences that you're going to see with this Canada launch and what those differences are a result of. And I just want you to get a better understanding of the Canada market. So I'll try to do this the best I can in the least amount of time that I can for you. So right now, we are a U.S.-based entity. Lavelle Brands LLC is a U.S. entity. We are operating in the U.S., but we are shipping our products to Canada, right? So we are operating off of a custom, custom clearance program, and we have for quite some time that allows us to ship our product into Canada. What we have been doing over the last year and a half, today near two years now, is we have been uh, doing everything to fully operate in Canada, right? So we, we set up a Canadian entity. We hired attorneys to start working with Health Canada, which is their version of the FDA, to submit all of our product applications, to get all of our product approvals. We had to hire another attorney firm to work with the Compensation Bureau. In Canada, there's these bureaus that actually approve of the comp plan and say it is legal and that it is able to operate in their country. And there's just a whole you know, incredible amount of stuff that you have to do. And when you're working, with uh, regulatory bodies, it's sometimes the slowest and most painful experience you could ever put yourself through because you're sitting there going, are you kidding me? If I was on the other side, I'd have that done in five minutes. Just give me the answer. But you're in this massive pipeline of insufficient, unorganized chaos, right? And it just is what it is. It's this giant system. Think of the IRS, the U.S. Post Office. It's just a mess. It's a disaster, and it just it is what it is. And so that's what it's taken so long to get Canada fully open from a Canadian business. So not a U.S. business shipping into Canada, but tomorrow when we go live, we are taking orders through the Canadian entity. We are shipping Canada-approved. Health Canada, which is their version of the FDA, we are shipping Health Canada approved Thrive products, right? So that's important to know. We are also in the final, final stages of retrofitting our Calgary warehouse where um, orders that come from Canada will be shipped. So right now, a Canadian orders. Uh, thrive, it gets shipped from our U.S. warehouses. Y'all all know that. Maybe you don't, but that's how it happens. Well, when we go live, um, it will be coming from Calgary. I do have a PS to that one. Let me get to that in a second. Uh, we're also, tomorrow when we go live, we're no longer taking uh, orders for these Canadian customers and promoters. They're no longer having to pay in the USD, the U.S. dollar. We're now processing those particular orders in the Canadian dollar. We're also paying commissions in the Canadian dollar. So everything we were doing has now switched to be like if Lavelle was officed in Canada, right? Everything we do is now set up 
through Canada for Canada. The only kicker is when these first few weeks happen, starting tomorrow, while our Calgary warehouse is still in the last minute phases of getting set up, the orders will actually still come from Salt Lake City. However, very important to note, 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 this is not the current line of product that you're used to. This is the official Health Canada, Canada approved packaging of products. That's what I want to talk about next. I want to talk about some of the packaging changes that you'll see if you're in Canada, right? Or maybe you have a Canadian customer and he says, or she says to you as a promoter in Texas, um, yeah, I just got my product. I got it faster, actually. Everything's working great. You know, there's some changes happening to the packaging. I want to walk through those changes and why they were necessary. One of the other frustrating issues, sometimes frustrating, sometimes not, but it just is what it is, once again, when you're dealing with a regulatory body, you have to conform to their rule book, right? They do not conform to your rule book. It's very similar to, to our products in the U.S. We have to conform to the, pro, to the, the rule book that the FDA gives us. They say, here's what you can say about dietary supplements. Here's what you cannot say. Here's how you can market your product as a dietary supplement. Here's how you cannot, right? And they give you this rule book. You hire law firms to make sure you know, everything's great and you're in compliance. And that's how we have operated since the day we, we have opened in this company, right? We are a very compliant organization. We don't like driving 70 on a 70 mile an hour or 75 on a 70 mile an hour highway. We, we just do what we need to do and we don't worry about anything. When we have launched in Canada now, now we are subjective to Health Canada's rule book, right? Not the FDA. And these rule books are different. It'd be like, you know, the way your parents raised you versus the way your friend's parents raised them. There's some similarities, but at the end of the day, there's some differences, too. And, and, you know, like a great analogy is, you know, the word pain, right? The FDA says if you're a dietary supplement, you cannot use the word pain. If you use the word pain, that kicks you into the drug category, and then you have to follow all these rules to be certified, classified as a drug. But if you say uh, discomfort instead of pain, now you're operating in a dietary uh, supplement realm. And so it's, it's little stuff like that, just, you know, minute changes to keep you compliant. Well, Health Canada has all these minute changes, and they're totally different than, um, you know, the U.S.'s. And so when you, when you see this packaging, there is changes. We had to change uh, the bullet points that we use to describe our product in some scenarios. We had to change the formatting on the back, right? When you flip over a, 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 a box of capsules or whatever, a box of shakes, and you see those supplement facts, that's the template that the FDA forces you to use. That's their way they like to show what is in the product. Health Canada has a totally different way that they want you to format. Um, we also did both English uh, languages on our products and French Canadian uh, for our French Canadian customers. So there's one benefit uh, that you'll come to like, and especially your French Canadian customers will come to like in Canada. But I just wanted to be very clear, there are changes uh, with the product line in terms of what we had to say, what we had to do, even with DFT. DFT was such a different animal to them, uh, it, didn't, it did not fit in their wheelhouse, right? They've never seen this. They didn't understand it. And so to conform in their rule book, we actually had to go uh, more of a method of a skincare product, right, where we're talking about things that it does for your skin and, and things of that nature when we all well know what it does, but once again, you have to conform to their rule book. It's, it's as simple as saying this is a dog or this is a puppy or pain or discomfort, right? It's all the same stuff, but you're, you're getting your peg in their little circle hole, and that's all they care about. So there's some things that we have to do to get our peg in that circle hole to be approved in Canada and with all of our products, but we have done it. And those are the changes, and those are the changes that you'll see and come to understand and know about as Canada fully launches. Same incredible.
product line, same formulas were submitted to Health Canada. Absolutely nothing has changed. You'll still see those same ingredients. You, it's just the way we talk about and market. Some of these products had to have some little changes, dog, puppy, things of that nature to get it in their system. The last thing I'll talk about on Canada, and then we're going to switch them to some very exciting stuff in just a second. Um, we have to go through a process every time we launch a new product, right? So we launch uh, a Thrive Fit product. Uh, let's say we launch it tomorrow and we come up with it tomorrow, but we know we're going to launch it in October. We have to start that submittal process with Health Canada on every single product. So the thing that Canada will come to learn is that for those products that have not finished their submittal process, those individual products will still operate off the custom clearance program that our normal U.S. products have operated on for the last three years or whatnot, four years. So, example, you are ordering all the products that you currently order right now, right? All those will ship out of Calgary once we're fully open. They're going to ship out of Salt Lake right now for the first couple weeks, but let's pretend those weeks are over and everything is shipping out of Calgary. So you're a Canada customer and you order every one of our every one of our products. Boom. They're all going to ship from Calgary. Um, but let's say there's a Thrive Fit product that we just launched or there's this product or there's that product or actually Boost happens to be one of these products that is not quite yet done. Any product that is not quite yet done with the registration process, if you order it, you're still going to get it it will just simply split off of your order, get kicked over to our Salt Lake City warehouse. So let's say you order three boxes of Thrive M and one box of this new incredible Thrive Fit product that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. You would get all of those Thrive M boxes from Calgary, and you would receive the Thrive Fit from the U.S. because it was not finished through the Canadian submittal process. It'd be zero extra cost to you. You would just receive a second order. So I hope that makes sense, and we'll get any information needed to those people that need information in the coming uh, days and weeks. So Canada is in full effect. I know they're screaming about it. So we're going to move on to the more, um, some more high energy, I should say, uh, elements of tonight's call. Those of you that know about Thrive Fit, um, Focused Intense Training is – is approaching very quickly. We have set a target launch date of October uh, to be able to deliver that. What is Thrive Fit? You know, you see a lot of people talking about it. You see a lot of things on our website. I think there's some confusion out there. Is it a product? Is it a line of products? What is it intended to do? How does it fit into the Thrive product line? Thrive Fit is, a, is an ideal and it is a product line concept that operates on its own identity, right? It's certainly complementary to the Thrive Experience product line that we already have right now, but it is, it is kind of its own element. You know, you've got the Thrive Experience line, which is the three main products, capsules, shakes, DFT, and you've got the Thrive Plus line of products, right, which is just about – everything else we have, right, that complements those three. And then some call this new line of Thrive products called Thrive Fit. So Thrive Fit is designed, formulated, and engineered to really be a product line and an offering for those people that are in the fitness community. They're in the fitness realm. They work out. They cycle, they ride a bike, they hike, they run, they do this, they do that. Are they um, Mr. and Mrs. Gym Rat? No, not necessarily. They're just people that believe in having an active uh, lifestyle that, re that revolves around being in shape in some form of matter, right? So this person A might go to the gym three or four times a week, and they're really focused on lifting. Person B might be a very – you know, stretching type person. He or she's going to a lot of yoga. Maybe they're doing Pilates. They're not really focused on lifting. They're focused on elongating their body. They're focused on different things. 
you know, a person C might be someone who gets out their, their you know, road bike daily and they ride two miles, five miles, ten miles. Person D might be someone that hikes, likes to get outdoors. They're always doing something is the point. And this product line is engineered to cater to that demographic, right? It's not about age necessarily. It's not about, you know, you have to be incredible shape to take these products. Not quite the contrary. It is about making whatever activity you do, whether it's stretching, whether it's working out, whether it's running, whether it's walking, whatever it is you do, these products and this product line is intended to help you do it greater, help you prepare to do it better, help you stay in longer to sustain, and most importantly, to help whatever it is you do to, to make it stick, right, to make those results more powerful than they would have been without the product line. And so this product line is focused around several elements. You know, when you're looking at a workout routine or a workout regimen um, that is light, medium, or aggressive, whatever it is, it's important to, you know, look at certain things that you need to do, certain things that you may lack in, you know, and these products are, are accounting for that. Some products are for... Uh, before your workout, right? It's getting the body ready. It's getting the body what it needs for maybe mental focus, for maybe clarity, maybe stamina, maybe blood flow, depending on what you're doing. There's products uh, to sustain the activity for endurance, for massive blood flow, for things that would help a pump or help you keep going, things that would give you the extra endurance, the extra energy, the extra cardio, the extra oxygen, right? And so and then you have things for after, you know, after the workout, late at night, going to bed. The post part of a workout is some of the most critical areas that people don't think. A lot of people think it's just about, excuse me, I've got some allergies going on. People think it's, it's mostly just about pre, right? Pre, 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 pre. And really, it's the after. However you choose to break your body down, it doesn't matter. You broke your body down. Your muscles are fatigued. You're fatigued. You've depleted certain elements in certain areas of your body. And your body's got, call it roughly, about a one-hour, hour-and-a-half time frame to whatever you do, whatever you give it, it is going to, like, crazy absorb it, right? It is going to use it. And that is where results stick. It's not necessarily the pre. That has benefits in pre. We're not going to dis discount pre. And it's not necessarily the during. You know, your workout, it, it counts, obviously. You've got to sweat. You've got to work out. You've got to get the heartbeat going. But I'm telling you, the, the real golden gem is the after and the recovery, right? The all the, the, the – from the – since everyone, anyone knew what working out, the most foundational element of, of working out, lifting, running, whatever it is, is great nutrition, great workout, and great sleep, right? And so what we are doing is a 21st century engineering around that philosophy. Now, before I ramble any longer on this, the exciting thing to note about this is when you look at the fitness realm, okay, and you look at any fitness realm, you look at the meathead section, which I don't really like, and we're not participating in that realm, but you look at it, right? And then you look at the, let's just call it CrossFit space, and then you look at yoga, and you look at this space, and look at this space. Over all these years, and over all these ingredients and technologies that are out there, I'm telling you from someone that has a pulse on that space, like, None other. I don't know how you could have a better pulse. Nothing changes in this space. It blows me away. Yes, your labels change. They get fancier. They get shinier. They look more like chrome every day. The canisters change. They look very cool, very, you know, wow effect. All of that stuff changes. This great storyline they give you. But at the end of the day, that formula, what is going into that product, it is nothing different than has it, has it been done in 10 years ago, 20 years ago, right? I mean, nobody is doing anything new. It blows me away. It's like they, all they care about is the front-end, one-time sale, 
the flash, the shine, the Vegas look, right? You walk into one of these vitamin shops up there, and it's like you walked into Vegas. There's all these flashy, cool logos everywhere, but nothing's doing anything different. And so where I fit, when we roll out this concept and when this storyline hits, and when these results hit, right, look at how powerful your Thrive 1, 2, 3 is and what we've done with three simple products. If we've done that for the average person and the fitness crowd, right, the fitness crowd's already benefited off of that, but if we've done that with those three products, what are we going to do in the fitness sector when we launch our game plan over there, right? So major, major change substantial results, meaningful, identifiable results, just like you see on the Thrive Experience in just an incredible complimentary book of business you're now going to have to offer people, right? I mean, when you look back 10 years from now, 15 years from now, if you're still a promoter with this company, you're going to, even five years from now, you're just like people that are five years with this company right now, they're receiving meaningful, substantial, not everybody, but there is a lot of people, right? I mean, we've got down there, pardon my French, 150 millionaires in this company, I think, is where we're at right now, maybe even more than that, and just thousands and thousands and thousands of people that make a substantial six-figure a year income, and I'm not trying to flaunt money around, I'm just stating the facts, they make that off of residual income from a product line that works, a product line that sells. And here's the really good thing about it. When you have a product line that begins to diversify, it gets wider, it gets deeper, the products get better and better and better, your fishing net that you're able to throw now can capture a lot more residual income every month over and over and over and over again. But how do you throw the net? How does the net become that big? Well, let's go back to how we started this phone call. How did Dana Chuva start her business? How did successful promoter over here start their business? Who do you know? Who can we talk to today about the Thrive Experience? You get that person. That person introduces you to two more because they want to get their product for free. That person introduces you to two more to talk to because they want to hit their VIP 800. You're talking to people about the product line over and over and over, and the key is new people, right? New people creates new energy, which creates new residual income. Quit calling the same people you've been calling for two years now. They are a grown, trained, educated thriver. They're going to be fine. Go get new people that are excited about this business that have the Lavelle new car smell, just like you have when you first got in this business. Quit calling somebody that's already had the new car smell worn off. Let them go. They're going to be fine. Go get new blood. Who are you going to talk to today? Who can we talk to today? Talk, talk, talk. Educate people about Thrive Experience. Everyone is looking for this product line. It's mind-blowing. I mean, go look at Billy, Billy Holderby's story. He's got one of the coolest stories. I think he had like 80 people or something. I don't know his story. It's been a while since I heard it, but it's you know, 60, 80 people over the course of a couple of weeks just by putting out on Facebook what his Thrive experience results were when he first got going. That still has to change. It happens all the time, over and over again. You're, you're contacting people. You're letting people know about the product because that's what people are interested in and that's what they can relate to is Thrive, the Thrive experience. That's what opens the door, right? You've got to put their hand on the door handle. That's the three main products. Let them turn it themselves, and then the world comes into place. VIP 800, VIP 1600, you're on stage receiving awards at Thrive Palooza. All that stuff happens down the road because you put enough people's hands on doing off to turn open the door of the Thrive Experience with three main products. So you've got to get going again. You've got to build a new book of business. You've got to build a new team. You've got to go for gold. You've got to start from fresh. Whatever it is you decide you've got to do, it's always based on your goals, right, not mine. Just define what you want to do. Define what you want to accomplish. 
but you've got to wake up every day just like I do going, what's next? What are we doing today to move this thing forward? And for you, that what's next is what's the next person. Who's the next person we are talking to? Either for you, your personal efforts in customer activity, your personal frontline efforts in promoter activity, or for those people in your business that are utilizing you for three-way phone calls, wanting you to meet up at Starbucks, to meet them with their friends, to not eat to drink Starbucks, but to try the shake mix, to do these things, right, two-on-ones is what I call them, right? Uh, whatever it is, it's either you're talking to people for your own efforts or you're helping your team talk to their people for their efforts. But nonetheless, who are we talking to today? It's the number one question in this company. It's the only question you should be asking yourself. The Rise Fit is going to hit in October. It's going to hit hard, and it's going to hit big, and we're going to dominate that sector immediately. Not like we'll get there in six months or get this a year's time to really get there. We roll it out day one. We're already a billion-dollar giant. We already have a substantial uh, name behind us, a substantial following. We roll this out. Your check, your income, your business is going to explode, and you're going to enjoy throwing a larger net for residual income, but you've got to have the net to get there, and that means momentum. So go get momentum out. Thrive Bites. Thrive Bites is certainly different than Thrive Fit, right? What is Thrive Bites? I don't know. The uh, website is telling us that 20% of people, I believe, the last time we looked, think it's a weight loss product. Thrive Bites is certainly a different animal for us. Uh, this is a different realm that we have, have participated in uh, in products past. So this is a new venture, a new road, a new journey. The one thing that I'll tell you about Thrive Bites, right, you don't want to fully pull up the uh, curtain just yet, right? We want to get a little bit closer. But the one thing that I'm going to tell you is unlike Thrive Fit or, you know, your three main products, right, those products deliver, like, substantial impactful results. You know, people can't, there, there's no doubting or guessing what the product's doing. You feel it, right? Drive Bites is not a feel product, okay? It's not a, a, a burn where you feel it or, or, or the three main products where it kicks in, your day three, your day seven, all that. Drive Bites is not that. But let me tell you what Drive Bites is. When we just talked about residual income off of a product line that sells, this is going to be one of the most highest selling products that you're going to see circulating in your team because the whole household starts to eat this and devour it daily, right? It turns into like this routine food item of, of, of some sort, right? Not saying it's a food, but it's like they built that in subconsciously that this is just what they do. The product tastes incredible. You don't want to exactly go into what it's for, what it's going to do, but mark our words. It's not necessarily the most impactful product from a results perspective, but this will be one of the highest selling products you have because everyone from two-year-old little Jimmy to 80-year-old Grandpa John, everyone in between is going to be eating this stuff nonstop, okay? Drive Bites is another one. You look at this year that's starting to build out. Okay, watch this. We've got Thrive Fit hitting October. We've got Thrive Bites hitting November. Okay, we've got some other things we're doing here in September that we haven't talked about. And then Thrive Blast comes to wrap up the year. We're not going to talk about Blast, but you're certainly going to have a blast with it. And then if there's anything that has me excited, I'll end this call throwing it to Paul here in just a second. Yes, the right fit has gotten me excited. I've, I've actually put more time and energy into those products than any product we have other than DFD. I put it just a tremendous amount of time, focus, and energy into that product line, and it's got me excited. The right bias is super cool. It's super different. You're going to smile and laugh the day it goes live or the day you find out what it really is, and it's going to sell, 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 sell. Probably one of the most auto ship products we'll have. Drive blast, blast, you're going to have a blast, but the plan that we have, I mean, we're we are close to a year out right now in prototypes and developments and technologies and where we go and what we're doing. We're always in the lab weekly playing with stuff, right? Some stuff is hot. It's priority hot, right? Like drive fit, where we're, we're revising, we're sharpening and tuning formulas daily and kicking them back out for samples, but 
he, he can't say, can't give the, the adjective here, can't give the verbs that I want to use, but our January, okay, February, March, April, going into convention, what we are doing here, we th this is like truly never been done stuff for us, for you. We will, without a doubt, 2019 have the biggest year we have ever had, okay? And it's going to be crazy. You think we've got some naysayers now? Watch this. What's going to be funny is the people that have discounted us. Oh, that you know, they hit their peak. They did this. They did that. One, they're going to see drive fit. Two, they're going to see drive bites. But when we come out waving our January flag, you better be a thriver then. That's all I can say because I would not want to compete against this company at that time. Don't want to compete against this company now. I mean, we're basically taking a damn nap this whole summer and still beating everybody, right? Now we're out of our nap. We're waking up. Kids are back in school. Here we go. Focus, focus, focus. Putting the gloves on. We're ready to get in the ring and, 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 and fight it out here. And that's exactly what we're doing with our technologies and our rollout. But just write on your calendar. Please write on your calendar. Get your lipstick right in your mirror. Put it in your refrigerator. I don't care what you do. And just put, Jason says, January is when it's on, okay? January is when this thing goes to another level that we, not even myself, no one has seen in this company, uh, and we're teeing it up perfectly. Drive fits, drive bikes, drive blast, and the January bomb hits this company, hits this industry, and you are going to be proud to be a thriver. Fast forward the clock, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. If you're not making a, an insane residual income from this incredible diversified portfolio of products that we're rolling out. It's not the products. It's not the company. It will all come back to how big did you build the net, what did you do, how focused were you, and it all starts with one simple question, who am I talking to today? Go watch those documentaries tonight. All of those people had that person that's t discussing their story, they had that person on their personal list of who they were talking to today. Dana Chuba was on somebody's list to expose the thrive. Mari Dillard was on somebody's list. Blair Kurtz was on somebody's list. Who is on your list tomorrow that's going to be the next 200K in this company, right? With that being said, Paul, I'm going to throw it back to you. Fantastic, Jason. Thank you very much, everybody, from this call. I'll take down these uh, few points that we have for you before we wrap up this call. Um, as we go into uh, what we said at the beginning of this call, so many announcements that are coming into the future, but into uh, the final part of the year. Please uh, stick to the basics. As he mentioned, Billy Holderby. Billy Holderby put a message on Facebook and said, want to know what Thrive is like? You have to target parking lot. You want to know what Thrive is like? Meet me at the Target parking lot. And he, I can't remember the amount of sales that he did in a day, but it was that basic outgoing message, and he had a flood of people come there. So if you have not heard Billy's uh, story, I'm sure he'll post it here in the next couple of days. Prayers out to his mom right now. The uh, number one thing I want all of you to write down, please write this down. VIP 800, the VIP 1600 celebration. Right now we're working on an announcement. Those of you that have... Uh, new drivers and new brands, there's a ton of you out there that have got new VIP 800 to 1600 celebrations. Make sure you all are in touch with the upline 200K. They will be uh, getting in touch with me. I'll be coordinating the time to get with them over the next 72 hours. This is very, very, very important into these announcements uh, that Jason was talking to you about. I'm tying in more pieces to this puzzle for every one of you. 200Ks, 80Ks, 40Ks, 12Ks, 4Ks. Make sure that when you hop off this call, you are getting focused on hitting VIP 800 to 1600 celebrations for the people, reaching up to 200Ks and getting in touch with me. We've got something going on behind the scenes. Number two, excited about this. Please look what we posted late this afternoon, uh, right before this call, in your back office under the company updates. What city will win Saturday, October 27th? You've got a brief message there. But we have posted tonight the top 25 cities that are in a race for a city that we are going to come to based off of those of you that are building these cities and these 
Uh, free customer accounts. This is how fast this is going to explode. Phoenix, Arizona was number that, number one today with 63 on the list. However, uh, down to number seven, Washington was at 49. So within 10 minutes, we could have Washington, D.C. be number one. You all are going to see every 48 hours, 25 cities exploding for an October 27th local. We're going to come see you all at whatever city is at number one. It ends Octo uh, yeah, excuse me, Sunday, September 16th. Check that out. This is going to be exciting. It updates every 48 hours, these numbers. Uh, so please get that word out. Uh, obviously, all of you have someone that's connected in one of those cities. With that being said, we are gearing up uh, for January, February, and March. There's going to be an explosion of gatherings as we go into the new year. Get yourself in the momentum zone. No, you want to be in now. It's the number one promotion we've been running since we turned this company on for orders. VIP 800 and VIP 1600. Step your gas uh, on that fuel right now. Put that fuel on that gas right now and do more for the people that are going VIP 800, 1600, 4K. You are an independent promoter of this company. Build your personal momentum and celebrate those people. We hear me closely on that, y'all. I'm going to give you more to it in a second. We'll be doing another announcement after the 16th on another list of cities that will be competing, and we're going to start doing this frequently, so you all are going to start seeing you get to control where we're going. This is going to be phenomenal as we go into the new year. We're excited to say you all will get to control uh, what cities we go to. It's going to be pretty wild. Uh, number three, hear me please uh, as I talk to you all about this. As I talk to you all right now, I'm staring at two different things that I have uh, put on uh, pressure on myself that I have uh, recently committed to financially, and they are big financial commitments, and I am in a major focus right now. The point that I'm making to you all is put your vision board, make a new one tonight. Please build your vision board this week with a Christmas tree around it. Visualize things that you want to have accomplished by November and by December, and make sure that you put down there on those goals uh, that uh, with that Christmas tree, the presents and everything that are around that vision board were paid for by your IPAs, your income-producing activities. Just like Jason said to you all, business is a numbers game. Bottom line, how many new personal activities did you do today? Not team support. What did you do? Did you look in the mirror and say, Jason said, 2019, did you pre-build? Did you build? Did you break new VIP 800? Did you do what we hinted at by the end of September? If you're a 200K, 80K, 40K, 12K, did you achieve 100 new free accounts? Tony Strathman, congratulations. Uh, already many of you others. Uh, my calendar, I'm going to show you all my calendar. I won't speak much about that right now, but I'm going to show you all my calendar, but I will briefly tell you all uh, – I'm on the move uh, deeply and fast on this because of September and October, but I'm just ahead of the curve, and I say this to you all very lovingly. I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to get everything set up before January hits off with everybody that's achieving all of these new ranks, et cetera, so make sure you're staying in touch with me. Next uh, week, I will see you all um, going to a surprise local next week. The following week, I'll be – right outside Vincent, North Carolina with uh, Lauren Egan the next day uh, going down to Pompano Beach in Florida on the 14th. The following on the 17th, I'm flying to Calgary, Canada. Within 48 hours, I'm going out to see uh, Alice and Mothra and family in Columbia, Missouri. Right after that, I'm heading to two more locals, one in Florida, another surprise local, and then I'm off to Cabo. I'm going to be in a plane every 48 to 72 hours. Monkey see, monkey do. I'm not telling you to go be in a plane every 48 hours, but I'm telling you to get out of the house and go see people, five to ten people in a room. Living room locals are what create locals. Living room locals are what create the locals. So I want to make sure that you all are getting out there. The uh, last couple of points, I picked five people today based off of their PPAs, Courtney Glazer, Ashley Arnold, Cora Biggs, Brett Sykes, he was working today. Danny Phillips, I know you have a living room local coming this week. Deanna McGee, I got your message today. Five new people that I'm working behind. What is your PPA? I'll be picking another five people, making private announcements around them. If you are 4K, 12K, 40K, 80K, not yet 200K, we're watching PPAs and many other things right now that we're doing behind the scenes. Um, 4Ks to 200Ks. I love that who's ready for a new car smell. 
Um, but let me just say this to you all. Please, whomever you are on this call, make sure you have 100 free counts before the end of September. Number seven, a little bit of a repeat, VIP 800. What are you doing to grow the number one promotion? We're putting it on you all now. Right now we are putting a ton of money into what is coming with the future of this company. We're asking you all, we're all in business, growing the future of this business. Thrive to two billion, not thrive to a billion, thrive to two billion. Put it up on your vision boards. We're on our way. I want you all focused on one thing right now. Who are you working with daily? Who are you reaching out to that you can help break the IP 800? There's more to this. You all are hearing me say it too much. Last but not least, ongoing 100 free accounts. If it is to be, it's up to me. Natasha, every one of you out there, leaders, lead by example. Let's go for it. You all are going to love what we deliver. We're asking you to build hard, fast, and furious on faith. Everyone have a blessed evening. As always, we do this right. Do what you do, Lynn. We are in this call. If you don't mind, say your name where it comes from all over the world. One second. Unmuted. There's a testament. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of you all out there tonight. Go make it happy for yourself tonight. We appreciate you all very much. This is Parker Bett and Jason Camper. You all have a very aggressive evening. We'll see you tomorrow on the private call. Bye-bye.